Top 5 Crypto Billionaires' Mysterious Deaths Over the last few years, the crypto wave has swept the financial industry, with cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and Bitcoin gaining popularity online and offline. Cryptocurrency's remarkable growth meant that the industry witnessed several billionaires. However, in the last few months, there has been an alarming increase in the deaths of billionaires in the crypto industry. Death is a necessary end for everyone, but when young and otherwise healthy multi-millionaires die under mysterious circumstances, it's bound to raise eyebrows. From drownings to plane crashes, here are the top five crypto billionaires' mysterious deaths that shocked the industry and led to conspiracy theories. Mircea Popescu Mircea Popescu is a popular name in Romania, his home country, and an even more popular name in the crypto industry. The 41-year-old Bitcoin pioneer was known for his long blog posts filled with racist, anti-Semitic, and sexist slurs. Nicknamed the father of Bitcoin toxicity, Popescu was a strong Bitcoin maximalist and was strongly for keeping the Bitcoin network unchanged. In 2012, he founded Impex, a Bitcoin exchange where bonds, stocks and other securities were traded, but the exchange came under investigation by the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. Popescu's reaction was to make fun of the Securities and Exchange Commission openly. Popescu is not new to controversy, but he endeared himself to people when he became the first to publicly speak out against Ripple, the company that founded XRP and Bitcoin Savings and Trust, which later turned out to be a pyramid scheme. This set the tone for his behavior he became an unapologetic and often aggressive Bitcoin evangelist and once threatened to dump 1 million Bitcoins if block sizes were changed. There have been questions over if he actually had a million Bitcoins. However, his threat was enough to discourage the adjustment of block sizes. Papascu was among the first people to understand the role of Bitcoin. He believed that it was crucial to the development of humanity and protected it at all cost. In June 2021, reports from his country of residence, Costa Rica, stated that Papascu died by drowning at Playa Hermosa de Garabito. As investigations continue, the crypto world mourns arguably the only Bitcoin millionaire besides Satoshi Nakamoto. However, the question on everyone's lips is, what will become of Papascu's Bitcoins? It's believed that his family has no access to his Bitcoin address. If that is true, a whopping amount of Bitcoin has been lost forever. Gerald Cotton Cotton grew up in Belleville, Ontario, a community between Montreal and Toronto. He attended York University's Schulich School of Business, Toronto, and graduated with a Bachelor of Business Administration in 2010. In Toronto, he learned about Bitcoin before traveling to Vancouver, British Columbia, and partnering with Michael Patron to launch Quadriga in November 2013. Quadriga Fintech Solutions, Quadriga CX, is a Canadian cryptocurrency exchange company that garnered much success and popularity in 2016. The company's popularity and success were so much that they considered listing on the Canadian Securities Exchange. However, the plan was cancelled in early 2016. Due to a wave of financial crises that hit the company in mid-2015, all the company directors except Cotton resigned in 2016. Cotton then became the sole director of Quadriga, however, the company had no officers, employees, or bank accounts. Quadriga oversaw an exchange of more than 1 million Canadian dollars in 2017, but by June of the same year, Quadriga announced that it had lost 14 million worth of Ethereum due to a smart contract error. By 2018, Quadriga customers could not withdraw their money as Bitcoin prices crashed. On December 9, 2018, Cotton was reported dead. His wife, Jennifer Robertson, stated that she escorted him to a hospital on the 8th. He was diagnosed with peritontis, septic shock, intestinal obstruction, and perforation. Following the death of its CEO, Quadriga was put into maintenance mode in January 2019, and by the end of the month, it applied for creditor protection. The death of Cotton meant that nearly $200 million worth of cryptocurrency owed to more than 100,000 customers went missing or could not be assessed because the password to those cold wallets was only known by Cotton. Many online users have argued that Cotton faked his death as an exit strategy from his scam. In contrast, others believe that his death exposed Quadriga as a Ponzi scheme. Following investigations by the Ontario Securities Commission in June 2020, Quadriga was confirmed as a Ponzi scheme and, and a fraud. In March 2022, Netflix released a documentary titled Trust No One, The Hunt for the Crypto King, detailing the life and acts of Quadriga Fintech Solutions CEO, Gerald William Cotton. 
Nikolai Mushigan, a brilliant crypto developer and early developer of Maker DAO, the biggest decentralized finance protocol has been reported dead. The crypto millionaire tweeted on October 28th that the CIA, Mossad, and pedo elite are after him and will torture him to death. A few hours later, his body was washed up on a beach in Puerto Rico. Mushigian, who developed a DeFi finance platform that he hoped would end global banking corruption and was instrumental in developing stablecoin systems, died at the age of 29. His death followed the death of several other crypto developers in recent months. Mushigian's last tweet, coupled with a number of dark posts about fighting bad people who use blackmail and debt to maintain their central banking cartel, has raised conspiracy theories online and in the Puerto Rican crypto community. Mushigian's body was found off Ashford Beach around 9 in the morning by a surfer. When his body was discovered, he was fully clothed and his wallet was on him. This rules out any theory of theft. Although Mushigian's death remains under investigation by the San Juan police, they have not ruled it as a homicide. His mother has released a statement saying that she did not suspect foul play in her son's death and that she didn't believe the conspiracy tweets had anything to do with his death. His family was so concerned about his welfare that his father moved to Condado, Puerto Rico to stay with him in his $6 million house. Several sources close to Mashujian had stated that he had troubles with his mental health. They confirmed that recently he had gotten very reclusive and stopped talking to people. Another source confirmed that he was seeing a psychiatrist and smoked a lot of pot following his breakup with his girlfriend, who he recently tweeted was a spy. However, other sources that have worked with him said that it was unusual for him to swim at that time of day and suggested that he might have committed suicide. Nevertheless, many colleagues and people in the crypto community suspect foul play and are convinced he was murdered. Qianqian Kulander Qianqian Kulander, the co-founder of the digital asset company Amber Group, based in Hong Kong, was named in the prestigious Forbes Under 30 list in 2019. Kulander founded the Amber Group in 2017 and grew the company to a $3 billion valuation. The former Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs trader is married and has a little son. Apart from the Amber Group, TT, as he is fondly called, was a board member of Fnatic, one of the most successful esports organizations in the world. Kulander also founded Keeper DAO, the foremost on-chain liquidity underwriter. Amber Group, which has a presence in several parts of the globe, including Tokyo, Geneva, Dubai, Istanbul, Hong Kong, London, and Mexico City, is based in Singapore. In the last week of November, it was reported that the cryptocurrency guru, Tian Tian Kulander, died unexpectedly in his sleep at just the age of 30. No other detail was given about his death. His company released a statement praising him for his humility, insight, and generosity while mourning his loss. Kulander's death has intensified conspiracy theories about the increasing deaths of cryptocurrency gurus. He was the second young crypto millionaire to die under mysterious circumstances within a month. Vyacheslav Taran Just six days after the death of Tian Tian Kulander, Forex Club founder and president of the Libertex Group died in a helicopter crash outside the French border. The 53-year-old was the only passenger in the helicopter, an Airbus H-130. Tran joined a long list of Russian billionaires and cryptocurrency icons who have died under mysterious circumstances in recent months. This has fueled comments online that there is foul play involved. When news that a second passenger on the flight allegedly canceled at the last minute emerged, many people online saw it as a sure sign that something suspicious was going on. The billionaire father of three was traveling from Lausanne, Switzerland when his helicopter crashed under good weather. The crash also claimed the life of the 35-year-old French pilot. Although investigations were ongoing, authorities have shown no indication that foul play was involved. Which of these deaths shocked you the most? Do you believe foul play was involved in any of these deaths? Let's know what you think in the comment section.